Marshall Nickelberry and today we'll be demonstrating setting up the Bluetooth here at Tisher Auto on our Nissan vehicles. Okay, so basically what you're going to do with your phone, you're just going to simply go to your Bluetooth settings underneath your main settings mode. You're going to select Bluetooth and then basically at the same time, you want to simply hit your voice command on your Nissan vehicle. Attempting to connect to your phone, please wait. Sometimes you'll notice you may have to hit the scan button if it doesn't register right away. No phone found. Would you like to add a phone now? After the beep, say add phone, replace phone, select phone, or no. Add phone. Add phone. The system is searching for your phone. Using your handset, look for a Bluetooth device called My Car. And then once My Car pops up, you simply want to touch My Car. And then the pairing process will actually start. Please confirm the pin matches using the handset. I'm going to verify the pins match and simply hit OK as, instru as instructed. Samsung's 935 up. Connected. Now the last process or step will be allowing your phone to actually register with the car, giving the car access to your contacts and phone log, text messaging. As long as you see your cell phone bars, battery life icon up here, you're pretty much connected and you can start using your phone. The last step is a personal preference that you may want to share. Also, we're on a Samsung device. If you're using an iPhone, then after the pairing process, you do want to connect your iPhone using your USB cord to your, uh, to your vehicle. Um, that will actually give you a couple extra options and allow the vehicle to sync. And with that being said, if you ever have any issues or concerns, um, you bought your car from Tisher, just come see us at your local Tisher dealership.